All right, without further ado, I'm joined now by Juno Dawson, author of numerous books, including today's Velshi Band Book Club feature, This Book is Gay. Uh, welcome. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. You're not here often. You were here when the book came out, which was 2015. That's right, yes. And it wasn't... It wasn't particularly it wasn't particularly controversial at all. No, the, the book came out with with no fuss. I toured America with David Levithan, who I know you've had on the book yes. club. We went around New York and New Jersey, and and it was fine. There was there were no issues whatsoever. It was well reviewed, and everything was going swimmingly. And what happened? It was well. First of all, 2016, Sarah Palin's stomping ground in Walsilla, Alaska. There was the first challenge. It was they asked to remove it from a library. The librarian agreed it should be in a restricted section just for teenagers, which I fully understand. And the problem went away, and, and we didn't really hear anything for maybe two or three years later. And then around 2019, it was like dominoes started to fall in in some states, in some schools, in some libraries. Librarians just started getting pushed back. And then in 2020, things really stepped up a gear and it was being banned everywhere and it made, and it made the top 10 banned books for the first time. So the, the argument with books like this or books about black history or whatever the case is, is that you are meaning to indoctrinate young people. I guess in this case, you're, going, you're meaning to indoctrinate young people into being gay. Well, that's, that's the argument. But if that was true, I would be a very hungry caterpillar and I'm not. Um, I just felt... You know, I wrote this book for myself when I was 13 or 14 years old. You know, I, I grew up with very poor sex and relationships education in the UK. I was taught how babies are made and how babies are born. And that would be great if I weren't transgender. But um, I didn't know anything about myself. I wasn't, I wasn't even aware I could be trans. And were, were there books readily available for a trans oh, youth, no. somebody of your age? There was nothing, like nothing, nothing on television at all. And... And I went into my young adult life when I got to college. I was so unprepared. And I see now as an adult, I was left very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I didn't fully understand consent. I didn't fully understand boundaries. I didn't understand that I could say no to things. And that meant that a lot of people were able to take advantage of me. You know, in my early 20s were traumatic in lots of ways. And, and I just sort of thought, what if, what if modern teenagers didn't need to enter adulthood mm -hmm. as clueless as I was. I wanted to just give them some backup. You know, I, I wanted them to go into adulthood prepared in a way that I just wasn't. I want to talk about the specific criticism surrounding the book as being in, inappropriate and pornographic. Um, the, the, the critics tend to hone in on a single passage mm -hmm. and share it without context. Every time. They're just taking a screen grab. Usually it's the page where we, we look at a cis male body and a cis female body, and we kind of we talk about where are the erogenous zones on a human body. Um, I think in a sex education class, I think we should be teaching young people that sex can and should be pleasurable. And, and so I felt that wasn't controversial, and I certainly didn't feel it was pornographic. I think, I think if you find this book is gay pornographic, I think it says a lot more about you as a reader than it does about the text, because it's like it's like um, a high school biology book. It's, a, it's, it's, it's essentially a, a, a modern textbook. 100%, yeah. I mean, we, we, the textbooks we had had pictures in them. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I, I think that's just a misunderstanding of pornography, right? If you think that nudity and discussions about the body is pornography, that's, they're, they're different things. And that, that, I think that's really dangerous. And that was something else I wanted to do with the book, which was I knew from being a, a teacher that kids were getting smartphones when they were, what, 10, 11, 12 years old. And as soon as a young person has a smartphone, obviously it's Pandora as box. Mm -hmm. And I'm not here to judge pornography, but I am here to say that pornography is not responsible sex education. And I think it's giving young people a very skewed idea of what a sexual relationship looks like. And so I wanted to kind of address that and say, porn is porn. This is education. Right. And this is, I hope, you know, and I, I hope any parent or educator would understand the goal of this book, and the goal of this book was never ever to be pornographic, but sharing a single passage out of context doesn't feel very fair. And in fact, a lot of the times the critics of this book are sharing material that is not even from this book. I've been accused, Well, that's often the case. Yeah, like, right. they, I know, so I was like, it gets in your head. For a while I thought, gosh, did I write that? And then I was like, no, you didn't. Like, this is, this is kind of a gaslighting. I didn't even write a lot of what I'm being accused of. One of the things I hear from people who write books, particularly about uh, queer experiences, is that they get notes from people who got the book or who read the book. 
In some cases, those people may have been led to take their own lives or certainly lead very depressing lives or, as you said, enter adult adulthood unprepared. Do you get that kind of feedback and does that offset the BS of having your book banned? It does. And I do get, I get way more fan mail, for want of a better phrase, than I do hate mail. And especially right. since I've left Twitter, I get very little, actually. Um, my the, God, I'm so envious of that. Just, just, just do it. You won't <laughs> regret it. But I am, um, you know, there was a really key moment a couple of months ago at a big awards ceremony in London where um, Heartstopper, the big Netflix show, a couple of the actors from Heartstopper came running over me to say, oh, my God, my mum bought me your book when wow. I was, like, 13. And, and these people are now happy, successful, thriving adults. I was like, well, that was the point. I wanted young queer people to become happy, successful queer adults. And it's now that the book has been out for nearly 10 years, it's actually really lovely to see kind of the results of what happens if you give young queer people education, that they have a shot. They have a shot at making it through those very turbulent teenage years yeah. in a way where they're just better adjusted than I got to be. Yeah, those years are turbulent if anyway, you're not struggling yeah. with your sexuality. So uh, thank you for this. Thank you for writing the book. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you, and thank, thank you for everything you do. It's, it's an amazing thing. June Dawson is the author of This Book is Gay, which is today's Belshi Band Book Club entry.